Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Welcome to the second and last part of our series dedicated to discovering Dumbo, a fantastic neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. If you missed part one of our series dedicated to Dumbo, you'll find it on our YouTube channel. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll be kept up to date on our future videos. The name Dumbo is an acronym standing for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass, and it's tucked between the Brooklyn and Manhattan Bridges. You can walk or cycle across either to get to Manhattan in as little as 10 minutes. The FNC trains stop here, and the 2-3 station, which will take you to Times Square, is just a little farther away at Clark Street in Brooklyn Heights. And so our first stop today will be St. Anne's Warehouse. If you live in Dumbo, you don't need to go to Manhattan for world-class theater. St. Anne's Warehouse stages some of the best shows in the city in an intimate space. Many productions come straight from Europe, like the acclaimed musical Brief Encounter, which went on to Broadway in 2010. There are a lot of great specialty shops in Dumbo. On the cobblestone Water Street, there's the wonderful pastry shop Almondine, handmade chocolates from Jacques Torres, and Powerhouse Arena, a bookstore and gallery space. There's nightlife in Dumbo as well. On Front Street, between Jay and Pearl Streets, you can check out Superfine, a fun bar with a pool table and live music. There's also Rebar, a gastropub and movie theater that screens small independent films. If you're feeling adventurous, head to the nearby Galapagos Art Space, where you'll find a range of unique productions that embrace the wonderful diversity of dance, music, design, science, and thought. You'll find loads of galleries here in the Dumbo area. Right now we're at 111 Front Street, where you'll find a dozen galleries all in one spot. We are actually in the AIR Gallery, so make sure you come check it out. A fun time to visit is on the first Thursday night of the month when they're open late and art lovers crowd the streets. Local artists and designers mean good shopping as well. Look for handmade furniture, jewelry and crafts in the neighborhood's many boutiques. You'll find many independent shops in Dumbo, from artsy to upscale. We're in one of my favorites, Stewart Stand, where you'll find men's gifts, functional design objects and some furniture. A few other stores you'll want to check out, Melville House Bookshop on Plymouth Street, where you'll find works of literary fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. And finally, Poem on Washington Street, a children's store where you'll find clothes, artful toys, and modern children's furniture. There's nothing better after a long day of shopping than to head home, relax a bit, and prepare a home-cooked meal to replenish your weary body. And there's no better way to do that while in New York than to rent a furnished apartment or vacation rental from New York Habitat. In a furnished apartment, you'll get more space than a hotel and you'll have a fully equipped kitchen. Of course, I'm sure you won't want to cook every meal in your furnished apartment. Luckily, there are tons of great restaurants in Dumbo. Here are a few that won't disappoint. As mentioned earlier, you have Rebar and Superfine, both of which are found on Front Street, and you've also got the River Cafe and the famous Grimaldi's Pizza. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's a wrap of our two-part series dedicated to Dumbo. If we've missed any of your favorite spots around here, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to visit our website at nyhabitat.com where you'll find more great furnished apartments and vacation rentals throughout Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. The only way to truly experience this amazing city is to live like a local in a furnished apartment. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We hope to see you soon in Brooklyn.